This video is empowered by GreenManGaming.com. Get your games here for the fraction of the cost there. Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. I hope you folks are all doing quite well. So I'm running solo today for this episode 5 of Dan Van Dam and Friends Podcast. I hope you all do not mind this said circumstance. I'm going to be banging out a couple of subjects out of the way, and as well as discuss Animal Crossing New Leaf and my little bit of my opinions for the game. So, all right, uh, first things first, Microsoft put out a press release stating that they wanted to do away with the DRM bunny. They said, I don't want to do this anymore. We want to get consoles sold with Sonnery. We're just going to sell these goddamn consoles. We want to sell them to you. Even though you're going to be missing out on all this, this, and this, and this, please buy the console. Oh, Microsoft, what would I do without you? Easy. Save a lot more money. Now, I don't buy new consoles day one. I hate doing that. I just predominantly don't anyway. It's to me, I could buy the console a little bit cheaper down the line, and then it will have more games too if the console's successful. It's just not, and then it means it was not meant to be. So, all right. What does this mean for most of those people who are negative about the console in the first place? I heard three people change their minds at the drop of the hat and say, Well, I'm just going to have to buy this console now. They got rid of that DRM. But yet, I know these people have Steam on their computers. And they have some games that are DRM certified. They are just embedded in the game. They just don't predominantly care or realize it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only reason that they weren't buying an Xbox One. I troll low my ass off about that. You know what? If they change their mind, they want to buy this console that badly. They're going to throw $500 at launch. They're going to change the way they think of the Xbox One. Then go on ahead, buddy. All this spiritual power to you. Buy that console. Go ahead. Half a thousand dollars. Go throw it down. You go, boy. You get on with your bad self. You play World of Tanks free to play online, even if you can play it on the PC for free anyway. So, am I going to change my mind? Fuck no. I don't want the damn thing. I never said I wanted it. I don't see it's a horrible console. It's absolutely not a horrible console. But again, there's just so many reasons when they first initially announced this damn thing, I'm not interested in it. I don't want to flick my damn wrist when I'm changing my my menu on the call, so even though this could be easily changed within the future. And there's so many other reasons too, which is, I don't want the damn thing. I don't, I'm not interested, don't want. And instead, this is just, ugh, that's all I can generally say about that. You know, I, I don't see myself ever owning the console anyway i'm sorry that's just how i feel so the playstation 3 decides it wants to do something sillier of course as people are trying to say in a conspiracy sense wearing tinfoil hats with generators boiling around their ankles that the xbox or microsoft has condoned or some had some sort of collaboration with sony to bring down this couple consoles via the PlayStation 3. The anger of some fans who then went to say, hey, you know, your software broke my system. Can I get a repair, please, because of my inconvenience? And then Sony replies with, sure, that will be $99. Uh, the funny thing about that is my brother's console's Blu-ray drive did not work. He was going to go to a loss. He was going to sell it for whatever price, probably like 20 bucks, knowing him. And he was just going to go to a loss. So we ended up paying $99 to get the Blu-ray drive fixed. And he, of course, skipped merrily down the road. So these people sadly got their consoles bricked. Now, this is the thing that's good about the PlayStation 3. They allow you to integrate and put your own hard drives into the drive slots. They allow you to upgrade your capacity to whatever size you choose. Sadly, this is not something that Sony themselves put into the drive slot themselves. You know, they could not test and see if this said component or this said model part number and all this stuff would be compatible with the data update. Sense Force bricking the damn console, making it predominantly useless for the consumer. And they were announcing they're going to come up with a fix some point later on for those folks who had the inconvenience. Okay, now they can't see their damn screen. How are they going to be even do this? 
my, my brain just exploded. I'm sorry. It's just... How the hell are they going to be able to even integrate this update if they can't see the damn draw? <laughs> they can't see anything. Because <laughs> I guess apparently some people have like one terabyte drives in a PS3 and they just did not like that at all. And I guess it's only um, harmful for people who had anything past 160 gigabytes of space. So I went under that. It was safe anyway, but they pulled the patch. So if you didn't update it yet, you're fine. And they initially don't force it on you most of the time anyway. I have it set to mine's to manual or whatever it is. So, anyway, these people are just screaming and shouting at Sony, all upset. And I don't blame them for being upset. They're, they're, they're constantly they put so much money into just caked over, just like that. Did it, was that a bad move on Sony? Absolutely. They had a good track shoes running. They were just running their asses off and they trip and fell. And that's all there is to it. I'm not going to say here, oh, well, Sony will prevail. You know, I'm not going to say that. You know, people's consoles got bricked. And at the same time, I'm not saying it's some sort of crazy conspiracy because Sony and Microsoft were in together, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just because of some software was incompatible with some drives, caused some issues, glitches, and all what have you, and caused the damn console to have a malfunction. This happens with computers as well. If you have the wrong chips or you overheat the computer or you overclock it or whatever else could happen to that computer. That computer will break if you do something internal to it. Even though certified updates do happen to computers and all that daily as well. And they don't break the computer anytime soon except for a few rare instances with Microsoft. But whatever, right? No one really points out that fact when Sony had their issue. Eh, what can you do? The same thing goes towards that. Then people go all the way back to the, the really grim and gruesome history of the PlayStation 3 when they had that hack, you know. It sucked for me. It sucked for a lot of people. Millions and millions of people's information compromised. And it was a terrible situation, you know. I can't put it past anyone else to say any less. Is it ancient history now? Is the console improving? Slightly, yes, but since his last update, you know, mm, that's all you can really say. With the past, if you look back also at Microsoft, they only had their hack as well, but it was really sort of minor versus what happened with Sony, and everyone got an extra month of time for the inconvenience, which was nice. It was a nice gesture. I mean, heck, even Sony gave away a couple games. Main just signed a waiver, and that was that. So, again, I'm not saying either company's better than the other. I'm not saying that Nintendo or Microsoft or Sony does master race at all, not PC or any of that, because they all have their damn flaws. It's to let you just really pick the lesser of the quad, triple, super duper, quote Veronica X lesser evils, and you just stick to that lesser evil. You know, what thing appeals to you more than the others? If you don't like the console so much, that's, I guess, th that. You can't really say more than what you just said. You know, I'm not going to sit here all day and play Captain um, Conspiracy Theory about how this, that, and the other thing is falling apart, blah, blah, blah. It does not settle well with my brain because of the fact that it's just silly nonsense. It's just a goddamn console. You know, I can say over and over again that at some point in the future I'll buy a Wii U and a PS4. Absolutely. That's only if these guys can pump out games that I actually like. And that's the important part of a console, folks. It's been said many, many times. A home PlayStation console, a Nintendo home console or computer console is set up to be just that. A video game processing unit. It emulates a ISO or a ROM and it just processes it so that way you can play it, implode your brain and have a good stress-free or stressful or an entertainment wise time. Because people like convenience, this is why the Xbox One appeals to some people. Same goes towards the PlayStation 3. They like this multimedia accessibility. I mean, heck, even back then, the PlayStation 3 had some spot where you can plug in an iOS, or in this case an OS, excuse me, and be able to have that built into the console. You have a keyboard and mouse and uses a computer. That was a great idea. But then some problems happened. Then things happened and one thing became to another the support for the PlayStation 2 got removed the I the OS support got removed unless you had some sort of mod that allowed you to enable that feature 
So it just came down to less and less compatibility with the consumer was presented there, but it didn't ruin the console, absolutely not. These consoles are still playable, the Xbox 360, the Wii, as well as the PS3. The, the Wii, you really don't hear any too many negative things about how it's slowly going stale, but it's still a good console. So, next thing I like to point out is the Animal Crossing New Leaf game I just recently picked up for the 3DS. My impressions of this, it's an Animal Crossing game. A lot more elements, hundreds of hours apparently that have been added to the content, so you got so much to do, so little time to do it because you have a life, I hope. And I like the game, I mean it's not a bad game at all. It's obviously when you start the game out it's going to become a little bit slow and then it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and you get more resources, you're able to do more things as you unlock and progress things. And I like it. It's a pretty good simulator. It's silly, and I did upload a photo or a video, excuse me, of this uh, koala named Ozzy spanking his little koala penis on the game because he was really happy to see me, apparently. But no, nah, kidding aside, he was supposed to be clapping, but it just looked like he was jerking off. But <laughs> it was really funny when I first seen it, so I tried my best to add some sort of dramatization into that. But anyway, I digress. I gotta say I like the game. It's really fun. It's definitely worth the critic scores it's been getting so far. A lot of friends have been asking me to play online on their on their towns. It's like, hey guys, I'm trying to get my my brain back into the game here. If I play with other people and they give me freebies, how the hell am I gonna learn the game if I'm having all the resources thrown at me at once? It takes the fun away from actually earning it and feeling I'm progressing. Visiting their towns to see what they're doing is cool, but Every time I usually do that, they give me a bunch of, like, tools and all that, and it just takes away the progression for me. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that it's... I'm ungrateful for that. It, you know, it's just I want to do it myself. <laughs> so, that's all I really wanted to talk about tonight, as well as, you know, discuss those topics. I hope you guys who are planning to get your said consoles in the future pick the right choice. Either it being the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, because at the end of the day, I have no grudges against Microsoft. I really give a shit less. I mean, even though they're supposedly throwing some sort of update that's going to disable or disrupt your, the Xbox OS so that way people can't use it anymore or something silly like that. So it's practically a dead weight and you can't use it anymore, which sucks. But hey, whatever, right? So. Alright, that's all from me right now. I'd like to thank you all for listening in and leave some feedback, leave some response, leave me something I can try to discuss as well. If you have any questions next podcast, I'll try to answer it with some bud if possible. So take it easy, guys.